In today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly make an apple pie rose. I have an apple which I've cored. I'm going to cut that in half. And then I'm going to cut little slices. I'm going to take all of my slices. I've got one cup of water here, right from the tap. And I'm going to put this into my microwave on high just for one minute. Once they come out of the microwave, just let them sit for about 30 seconds. That's going to make them a little bit softer so that we can bend them. And now I'm just going to drain off my hot water. I'll just get them into a bowl. What I have here is a piece of my all butter no fail pie dough. And I've just cut a little rectangle. And then what we want to do, we want to just gently start taking little pieces of apple, red side up or peel side up, and just start loading them all the way along. That one is a little thick. What I have here is granulated sugar mixed with cinnamon. And I just want to get that on there all the way along. That's good. And I'm going to fold this over. Lock in the ends if you wish. I have a cupcake tin here ready to go. And then I'm just going to slowly start turning all of this. Just keep turning. And look at that. Isn't that nice? I'll put that in there. And now I'm going to pop this into my 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 50 minutes. All right, here we are right out of the oven. This is extremely hot right now. Um, I'm going to let it cool down and then I'm going to unmold it and then I'll come back. But I baked it for a total of 50 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. The reason why you want to bake it a little bit longer is because there is a lot of pastry dough that has been wrapped around and you want to make sure that it's properly baked in the middle. So I'm going to let this cool down for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to remove it and I'll come back and show you the final product. This is about a half an hour later. My little apple pie rose has completely cooled. But before they cool, make sure that you use a little spatula or something plastic to get them out of your cupcake mold or they will stick. You want to get them out while they're still warm. So let's just give this a little bit of a spin. Now if you want it done a little bit less, don't put it in as long. Right here you can see a lot of that cinnamon sugar caramelized. I love that. And this is going to give a nice contrast. The outside is going to be a little bit more crunchy than the inside. The inside is going to be much more soft. But there we have it. Really, really nice. I guess I'll tilt it up so that you can actually see what it looks like and how really nice that looks. Now you can finish this off with a little bit of powdered sugar if you wish, which I'm going to do later on. But there we have it. So that's it for this really fun video recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. And if you're on Facebook, you can see my video there as well. And I will also post a few pictures of this closer up on my Pinterest page, which is pinterest.com slash bakelikeapro. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.